what's good y'all show girl title someone in a cut if you cannot tell by the title of this video we are going to be flattering my hair so i have not flattered my hair since i had color in it and it's been like almost two years like one and a half but for the purposes of this video two years so um yeah we're gonna just get into it Now, so for this video, we are going to be using this Duval flat iron, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to do the whole unboxing and everything, like when I'm about to use it. But, I just want to show y'all what it looks like. Y'all, it's so freaking cute. It is so freaking cute. It's pink. Y'all, it's my favorite color. Do y'all see it? I'm going to take the plastic off. I ain't trying to take it all the way out the box, but y'all, oh look at it. It's so cute. It's a Duval on there. It's cute. It's cute. It's so cute. But anyways, so for the products that we're using in this video, y'all, so we're using cheap products. And it came in this little set of three. The TJ Maxx for $17. So if you're not somebody who flutter on your hair a lot and you just want like, you know, like a one-time little thing. I recommend this little set because them big bottles, there's no way I'm going to use them a lot. So that's why I didn't get it. Now I got the silk infusion and I got the info treatment and also I got the shampoo which is in the bathroom but it looks just like this. And that's what I already use in my hair. Um, The info treatment is like a conditioner is what I've read and that's what I think it supposed to be. And then this is like a heat protector. So, um... Before I even use this conditioner, I'm going to oil my scalp first. And the only reason I'm doing it before I use this is because um, when your hair, when you try to strain your hair and it's like a lot of oil in it, it's gonna make it like stiff. So to make sure I use minimal oil as possible, we're gonna oil it first and then do this. So that way it still be like my scalp is moisturized still like a little bit. Cause if I don't do nothing at all, it's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna get dandruff issues. I miss. And then also like when my scalp get dry, I start shedding a lot, and that is not cute. It's not cool and I'm not trying to be bald. So, yeah, we're going to oil my scalp first. To oil my scalp, I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to use this Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. Y'all used to be sleep on Shea Moisture because I used to be like, it's overhyped, overrated, not really necessary. But y'all, this stuff right here gets me together. My scalp never itches with this, ever. My hair never go dry with this, ever. So, yeah. If you sleep on Shea Moisture, y'all get this. In the mix with gel. So, yeah. Um, and then I'm put this on top, which is this Super Grow Honey and Ginger. You know, just the grease you see as a child. Um, it smells so good. So, yeah. And that's it. So, I'm just about to start, y'all. My hair. Um, I just put another rinse in it because I didn't want my hair to be, like, bright red. Cause like every time my hair started fading, like it gets bright red and I hate that. So I darkened it up. It's still a little bright to the, on the camera, but I did darken it up. It was like orange red at first. So I darkened it up, which is why it looks like this. Y'all, I'm super scared about this because um, I gave myself a haircut and my hair was curly. Like as you can see, it's curly. So the way my hair is now, like it kind of is like, it go like this. Like it's longer at the bottom and shorter. So, I don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm scared it's going to be choppy. Really scared. I don't know. But yeah, first y'all, we finna oil my scalp. Um, I always... I'm trying to tell y'all everything I'm about to do because I'm going to have to speed up the whole video. But, um, I always put this in there first and then I put the grease on top just to seal it in. And yeah.
Okay, so y'all, I put this stuff in my hair, and I just like tried to mix the um, what's this stuff called? This uh, yeah, this infant treatment in like with the stuff that I put in my scalp, so that way it rinses out too, but it still like leaves some moisture or something. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, yeah, I'm about to rinse it out. It said two to five minutes, but I just don't know how long. Um, I might do 10, 15, because, you know, I need deep penetration. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just going to rinse this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Uh, hold on. Just a second. All right. So, uh, I didn't um, rinse my hair out and stuff. And... Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to work. Like, I don't know. I think it's going to work. Like, uh, I think it'll be all right. Like, I can still, like, that, um, the little, this little stuff, it left, like, like, this residue on my hair. So, at least I know it's not, like, BS. I just don't know how it's going to be, like, if it's going to be. Still here if it's gonna be stiff, cause if it's stiff, then I'm gonna be mad. But I think it might be alright. So, yeah. Um, we finna blow dry it, and I'm finna use this uh, silk infusion stuff. Y'all always do my um, heat protector before I blow dry instead of um, before I flat iron, because if you do it before you flat iron, like I feel like it tends to come out more greasy. That's why I always do it before I blow dry. So I gotta worry about it. Um, and this is a probably a small amount. Okay. So we're gonna do four sections. Again, crazy. Mm -mm. I don't know what it smells like, but it's weird. And it's clear like this, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So really, that was enough. I try not to go overboard with it. Really, this too much. This is really too much. But yeah, I try not to go overboard with it because I don't want my hair to be um, way down. So I try to go just enough. And y'all, it don't take much. It literally say use a um, a pot small amount. Yeah, because it literally don't take much. So. That's what I'm doing. Applying a small amount. Now we're gonna blow dry. And I'm just gonna chase my hair with this brush. And I'm gonna use um, the highest setting and the highest power. Okay, y'all, so, um, this is done. And y'all, it didn't take long at all, like five minutes, really. But, this is what it looks like. Blow dry straight, y'all. Okay, I might still got some inches, maybe, maybe, maybe. Cause y'all, like I said, I did uh, get myself a haircut and I was really scared. Um, so yeah, I might be all right. But, uh, I'm just trying to make sure it's all dry. It's a little damp in the back. So I'm gonna go back over it in the back. But yeah, that's one section. I'm gonna come back. I'm probably just gonna come back when I got my whole head done. Cause I'm pretty sure y'all get how to blow dry y'all hair. It's really a simple process, so yeah. Okay, y'all, um, we're gonna start on this section, y'all, in the back. Doing the back first. Um, let me do this review really quick, though. So, again, we got the fire iron, y'all. This way. I put the thing back on backwards. I already took the plastic off of it, but this is what it looks like. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the cord. It come with a little Velcro thing, so, you know, you can wrap it back up when you're done. Um, 
Inside the box, it has like a little manual. Okay. And it just tells you, you know, stuff how it works. Uh, it even got temperature settings and it tells you like what temperature you should use based on your hair type. I'm going to use 450 because that's the highest setting. So, yeah. Um, and then just give you some safety tips. But because the uh, flat iron is pretty self-explanatory, it's not like a super long manual because that would be necessary. So, yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Let it get hot. So, uh, let me show y'all. It look like this. Can y'all see the inside? So, you just flip it on like this. Hope y'all can see that. And then this is the little thing that changes, like, you know, how high you want it. And I'm going to turn it to 450. And I'm going to let it get hot. Um, it should get hot really quickly. I'm over here turning it on and then you plug it in. I'm over here wondering like, why is it turn on? But yeah, I'm gonna plug it in, y'all. Okay, and that's how you know it's on, y'all. This is lit up, y'all can't see it, but it's lit up. It's a little red, little dot. And it should be heating up, y'all. To me, it seems like it's heating up pretty quickly. I can already feel it get warm. So, yeah. And I'm just going to use the chase method. Yeah, I'm trying to explain to y'all everything. Because the rest of this video should be sped up until I get to, like, my roots and stuff. And I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Oh, it's cute. Y'all, I highly recommend that cheat. Oh my God. It gets you together. Like, look, girl. Mm -mm. Like, my hair literally so soft. So, y'all, it's like it came out the root like this. Like, it came out the scalp like this. Like, not kidding. You know, 
the one too. I was really skeptical about the um the way I cut my hair. Cause I don't know if y'all can tell. Well you probably can't. But like see how it's like shorter? Like it go like that. And what I was gonna do is um bump the ends and uh have it like, you know, you know, you know, a little retro. But uh my hair it's not holding like no like you just go bone straight, like just flat like that. Like I was bumping the ends as I was going, you can't even tell. So yeah y'all, but it turned out so cute. I'm finna wrap it and I'm gonna come back to y'all but yeah. Ha -ha. But yeah, I'm finna wrap it because this is gonna give me, you know, a little extra. Um I don't got no edge control, y'all, so we just gonna be regular regular, but yeah. If y'all know some edge control that you can use when your hair is straight, please let me know in the comments because I have been trying to find one and I can't find nothing. So yeah, let me know in the comments if y'all got one in mind already. That'd be very helpful. Okay, y'all. So I'm trying to take pictures. Y'all the sun going down, so I'm about to hurry up and film this outro. I don't know why I'm doing that, but... Stuff stuck in my lip gloss, but yeah. like it's just gonna do it anyways. I didn't come with nothing, no comb, no brush. Just sitting literally. So I can even comb this stuff out for y'all, but um, yeah, y'all, it's super. Super, you know, silky. We love to see it. Um, yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Oh, uh, y'all, without that flat iron and that chief, y'all, I wouldn't be here. I'm finna shoot this. It's off, but I just hit call. But yeah, without that chief and the flat irons, y'all, it would have not got like this. My hair is literally so silky. If, and I think y'all got a coupon code for 75 or something. I think it's 75. I had to double check that for y'all, but coupon code will be right here. It will also be in the description. Y'all, check it out. The flat irons do not disappoint, y'all. They hit. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Cheese stuff too. Well, I don't got no links for that. Go to TJ Maxx and get you a pack, though, if you want your hair to be, you know. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to pop that like button, tap that bell, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on all social media links down below. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.